Hello everybody, Jonathan Rayo here with SimplifyGuitar.com and in this lesson I'm going to be teaching you how to play the song Just Breathe by Willie Nelson. This song was suggested to me by Paul Wallace. Now if any of you would like to make a song suggestion, all you got to do is leave it in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can keep up to date with all the new tutorials that I come out with. Now if you're new to Simplify Guitar, then I recommend you start with a three-step guide, which you can get by clicking on the information card in the top right corner of this video at any point during the lesson. The guide is completely free and it takes you through all of the 18 chords and the three strum patterns that I use for all of my song tutorials here on the channel. All right, now I'll go ahead and play the song for you and then afterwards I'm gonna break it down and explain it to you in more detail. So let's go ahead and get started. Yes, I understand that every life must end As we sit alone, I know someday we must go on. Oh, I'm a lucky man to count on both hands the ones I love. Some folks just have one, yeah, others they've got none. All my sins never gonna let me win. Oh. Under everything, just another human being. Oh. I don't wanna hurt so much in this world to make me believe. Stay with me You're all I see Did I say that I need you? Did I say that I want you? If I didn't, I'm a fool, you see No one knows this Alright, so for this song we're going to be using the C chord, we're using the G chord, which when you're making the switch from C to G, it's nice to move your second and third fingers first up to the new position, then get your pinky down, especially for this song which we're using the folk strum pattern, so that first beat of the measure we're just plucking that low E string by itself, okay? So that means that you have an extra beat to get your pinky down. So you move your second third finger, get them there first, and then put your pinky down when you make that transition to the G. We're also going to be playing the A minor 7. 
Now this is a nice chord that fits well within this chord family because when you're making a transition from C to A minor 7, all you got to do is pick up your third finger and you're there. Okay, so very, very easy transition to that A minor 7. We're also going to be using the F over C chord. This is a nice uh, F that fits well in the C chord family. You're not going to be using it in any other family, but it fits nicely in here. We're not going to be, what's really nice is it's easy to play. So uh, the traditional F is either a bar chord or you're at least barring the bottom two strings down here. Uh, but this F over C, you don't have to do any barring at all. So it's a nice, easy alternative to the F. We're also going to be using the D minor chord which is down here. You want to make sure when you play the D minor that you're not plucking the low E and the A string. Okay, you have to start your strumming at the D string. Now as I said we're going to be using the folk pattern for this song which is a four beat strum pattern. We're going to have four down strums and then we're going to have up strums added after beats three and four. Okay, so basically we have one, two, three, and four, and like that. And then we repeat back at one, two, three, and four, and. Okay? Now we want to add some dynamics to that. We're going to be strumming harder on beats two and four for this song. Okay? And for beat one, we're just going to pluck the first note of the chord. So in the case of C, uh, that first note of that chord is going to be your A string. Okay? Not your low E string. That's not part of the C chord. If you want, you can use your thumb to come across the top and mute that low E string so you don't accidentally hit it. And you start that first strum on the A string. So we have one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. So you hear I'm hitting harder on beats two and four. One, two, three, and four, and. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you would like to get the chord chart for this song as well as watch the play along demo in slow motion and at full speed, you can click right here to head on over to the website. Now, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave me any questions or song suggestions in the comments down below. And I hope to see you in the next lesson. Take care.